Yes, you absolutely read that title right. This is going to be a deep, heartfelt retrospective on our beloved, our one and only, our boy, Todd Howard. Now, let's be honest here, okay? I mean, I, what can I say that hasn't already been said, you know, a million times? Todd isn't just a game developer, okay, first of all. He's probably the greatest salesman ever, at least to ever exist in the gaming industry. I mean, this dude could sell a bottle of wine to somebody in an AA meeting, okay? He could convince a nun that yoga pants are like an essential part of a spiritual journey. Dude, he sold, he, dude, he literally sold Skyrim like seven times, okay? And somehow we, we just keep opening up our wallets, you know? It's like we forget that we've already owned it on three platforms. Like, how does he do it? As a Bethesda fan, watching Todd Howard on stage is kind of like being in a toxic relationship. Okay, I gave this a lot of thought. He gives us hope, okay? And then he ultimately hurts us, usually in the form of bugs, crashes, broken promises, and patches that create more problems than they fix. But somehow, he always just reels us back in. We just can't quit him. He's like a pack of cigarettes wearing a jacket and one of those TED Talk microphones. It's the charisma, the confidence, and let's not forget the ever-expanding collection of leather jackets. Every time he steps into the spotlight, we're under the spell. We're like, oh, Todd, it's okay. We forgive you. Look at that smile. How could we ever stay mad? It's freaking ridiculous, but it's true. It's true. Todd Howard has this undeniable magnetism that keeps Bethesda fans coming back time and time again. We just need our fix. We know the bugs are coming, okay? We know there's going to be glitches. We know he's going to lie. But Todd? He, he's our constant. He's that little spark of hope in our gamer hearts. People who aren't Bethesda fans, though, they're the ones that look at us like we're insane. They see Todd Howard for what he is. A smooth-talking, fast-moving game dev and he's with a reputation for big promises and big, big bugs. They react to Todd the way everybody should react to Todd. They watch him with cautious skepticism, and they pick apart every sentence, and they, like, carefully examine the fine print. There's always fine print with Todd. Like, these non-Bethesda fans, you know, they nod along, but they don't believe a word of it until they see it for themselves. Meanwhile, we're over here, like, fangirling over this man who's been promising us the next Elder Scrolls for the last decade. It is a wild ride. Todd's at the wheel, dude. Okay, and he's driving us straight into a horizon of endless anticipation, okay? In case you didn't know, Todd Howard is the director and executive producer at Bethesda Game Studios. If I had to compare Todd's job to something, I'd say he's like a conductor of a symphony orchestra or something like that. Only instead of instruments, like he's orchestrating thousands of like game mechanics and characters and quests and stuff. He takes these insane ideas and then he like presents them and shapes them into something cohesive. He whittles them down, something playable, and then he ships it off to the dev guys and then they make it come true. He's not the guy like sitting there coding or designing landscapes, you know, but, but he's definitely one pulling all those pieces together into a vision that eventually turns into a game. Sometimes it's a bad game, but, you know. If you didn't get that comparison, think of him as, like, the Gordon Ramsay in a kitchen with 100, 400 cooks. You know, he's not slicing vegetables and shit, but he's tasting everything. You know, he's making sure all the dishes come together. And so going off of that, here's the thing. Todd's vision is what makes these games so memorable. Whether you love or hate Bethesda titles, like, you can't deny that games like Skyrim, Oblivion, Fallout 3, like, they, they left a mark, man, okay? They left a big mark on gaming history. You could tell me you don't like Skyrim, like, hey, that's your opinion, like, that's fine if you hate Skyrim. But there's literally thousands of people who are still playing Skyrim regularly, over a decade later. I mean, the game came out in 2011, here we are, still talking about it, still modding it, still finding new ways to break it, thanks, Todd. Mr. Howard had a big hand in shaping those worlds, and while it's a team effort, I think that his kind of guidance, his vision, you know, it's kind of what set the tone for these iconic games. Uh, Todd, like, isn't just a name in the credits. He's the, he's the freaking architect, okay? And even though he's not coding the dungeons or animating the dragons, you know, I mean, he's making sure that all of those elements work together to create something greater than the sum of its parts. That's why when people talk about Skyrim or Fallout, like, they don't just talk about the gameplay or the story. Like, they talk about the world. They talk about the freedom to explore, the random encounters, the lore. That's the magic of Todd's direction. You know, he understands that it's not just about delivering a game, it's about delivering an experience. You know, a world that you can lose yourself in. And let's be real, Todd Howard is the master 
of hype. Every freaking time, every time, dude, every time he steps onto a stage, whether it's Xbox Showcase or back in the old days at E3, dude, we knew something big was coming. We were like, this is it. Oh my God. When you saw Todd step on the stage, you automatically sat up straighter. Like your posture was perfect. And even like weeks and months before these events, like the anticipation is building as we wonder, is Todd going to be there? You know, are we going to get new Elder Scrolls 6 uh, trailer or whatever? Like wh what are we going to see? And even, and this is the insane part, even if we know deep down that we're not getting what we want, there's, there's still like a sliver of hope. Todd has this like aura of excitement around him that makes you believe, even if he's let you down before. He's like freaking Santa. Dude, I've literally made Todd Howard bingo cards. Okay, that's the power of Todd. He turns a simple game announcement into a, a, a spectacle that we just, I can't even blink when I'm watching. You know, but but Todd, like, you know, he, he's not just a, a, a game announcer guy or a creative director or a executive producer. He's a showman, okay? He's the guy who sold us the same game seven times, and somehow we're still thanking him for it. You know, when he shows up, it's like magic in the air. And not just for the announcements, uh, he's just got a way of speaking that makes you feel like you're about to witness history. You know, he could be talking about literally anything. He could be talking about his morning shit, and you'd still be hanging on to every word. Like, oh my god, how many, how many times did he wipe? Like, does he have a bidet? Did he wash his hands? Did he close the door after he left the bathroom? It's like when he says, it just works, even though we know damn well it just doesn't work. You still believe him. Todd's got that mix of charm, like confidence, and a weirdly relatable awkwardness that makes you kind of want to root for him. It's why I think that no matter how many bugs we encounter in a Bethesda game, we always end up coming back because Todd sold it to us and we want to believe. Like, we believe him. Like, we're rooting for him. You know, he's kind of become the mascot for the studio. And his appearances are more like a tradition now. You you just don't watch to see a game trailer. You watch to see what Todd's going to say about the game trailer. I mean, will he throw out another like meme line like 16 times in detail? Is he going to drop in a nugget of wisdom about the industry? Like every time he steps on stage, dude, there's a buzz in the air. Because we know something something's about to happen, okay? He's turned game presentations into a spectacle where the product is as much about him as it is about the game. Like whenever he announced the Starfield teaser, you know, it was, an, it was enough to make the, the hair on your arm raise. And then when the Elder Scrolls 6 teaser played, I'm pretty sure that every hair on my body stood up at that point. Like even my ass hair probably stood up. I could probably cut through toilet paper if I had tried to wipe at that very moment. What's crazy though is how Todd manages to balance that fan adoration with the reality, you know, that, that sometimes shit goes wrong, you know? Like, these games are notorious for their bugs and glitches, right? But, like, Todd's almost got a way of owning it. Or at least, like, not letting it get to him or overshadow the bigger picture. It's almost like he knows that we're in on the joke, you know? I mean, sure, we've had moments where, like, a glitchy NPC walks through a wall, you know? Or we're, we're getting sent to freaking space by a giant Skyrim. But when Todd's at the helm, it's like, oh, that's just part of the plan. You know, that, that's, oh, that's supposed to be in there. There's this sense of like, yeah, the game's a little rough around the edges, but it's ambitious, and that makes it worth playing. It's so weird how fans are just, are just accepting of this. Like, they just accept it. Like, specifically in previous Bethesda games before Starfield, the bugs felt almost on purpose. Like, sure, there were groundbreaking bugs, but, you know, stuff like the bucket on the head so you could steal in Skyrim, it just felt like it was on purpose, you know? Going back to Todd at events... It's not just the big moments at events that keeps fans hooked. It's the smaller kind of interactions too, like Todd's interviews. You know, whether they're on YouTube or at press events, he always manages to drop these little little Easter eggs, you know, these little pieces of candy behind for us. Like he'll casually mention a feature or a design decision that makes you feel like you've got a glimpse behind the curtain. There's this unspoken understanding between Todd and the fans. We know that whatever they're releasing... It's going to be buggy, okay? And it might suck, right? Like, we know we're probably in for some jank, but we don't care. Todd's earned that goodwill over the years because despite hiccups, his games are fun. They're immersive. They give you that sense of exploration and discovery that few other studios can replicate. Like, the, the first one that comes to my mind is like Red Dead 2, you know? Another thing about Todd is that he knows how to make even the simplest features feel groundbreaking. 
It is so weird, man. He's got this way of hyping things up to make you excited about mechanics like you didn't even know you really gave a shit about. You remember when he introduced the settlement building in Fallout 4? I mean, he made it seem like the most revolutionary thing to ever happen. And while building shacks and setting up turrets isn't exactly mind-blowing, it's the way that he sold it that made you want to dive in and like spend hours making the perfect outpost. He's got this way of making everything sound like a game changer, and even when it's not, you're still having fun because you bought into the vision he laid out. That's the power of Todd Howard. And I think that all of that brings us to the heart of why Todd resonates so much with fans. I think low-key, he's one of us. You know, he's not just some corporate suit reading off a teleprompter. I mean, he does read off a teleprompter, but he's a gamer. You know, you can tell. When people ask him in interviews, like, what games are you playing? Like, he lists like three or four. You know, when he talks about these open worlds or, or how much he loves Daggerfall, like, it's genuine. You know, you, you believe him because he's not just making games to make money. I mean, yeah, everybody needs money. I mean, of course he's doing it as a job, but he's, he's making the kind of games that he wants to play almost. Even though I think Starfield was a flop, you can tell it's something he really wanted to make. You can tell that behind every announcement, every mechanic, every piece of lore, uh, Todd's excitement is real. He's the kind of guy who probably geeks out over the same shit we do. And that makes it easy to root for him. You know, no matter what the outcome of a new release is, we're still going to root for him. I've been making all of my videos based on Bethesda-related news lately. Uh, I want to know from y'all if this is something you'd like to continue to see, or if you'd want to see something a bit different. I'm not really concerned about views, to be honest. I just want to know if my viewers would like a change in direction, you know, while sticking to what I know best, and that's Bethesda games. I, I really enjoy making Bethesda stuff. So let me know in the comments what you think about me talking about other games. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's been on my idea list for quite a while, and I finally got around to doing it. So please make sure to let me know what you thought. Leave a like, share it maybe, and if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next video. Also, thanks for watching.